to be honest, I was probably looking for about a year. Um, I was looking on, like I was checking out avenues, uh, Kijiji, just looking to see what was out there. Um, I was, say I'd used MLS in the past. Um, I found when they switched to realtor.ca, it was just super annoying. I don't know if anybody else finds out, but it was kind of annoying and I couldn't really figure things out and then looking at comparables and I just, I, I kind of felt a bit lost to be honest. When we found a house, it wasn't from the online. It was actually just driving around the neighborhood and seeing a for sale sign up. Okay. Yeah. Now, did, if you looked online, uh, was there any particular websites you used? or um, The Realtor. And Realtor. Then, yeah, CA? and I just like Google, like, you know, homes for sale in Oakville. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, probably, I, I, again, I typically one is, is I will drive around as well and see what's something out there and then kind of say, well, I'm interested in that and then find out if that's in the price range gotcha. uh, on it. But that's typically how I would go out and look. Yeah, it was, um, it was a lot of uh, realtor.ca. Okay. Um, I, did, I did some newspapers. I got some um, automated listings sent to me. Okay. Um, which were helpful and not helpful. Realtor.ca was awesome. So, so the little app on my phone was fabulous, but that doesn't tell you what the selling price was. Uh, I know a number of realtors in, the, in, the, in Ontario, and they were able to help me out to see how much the house actually sold for. So the realtor I used uh, is actually a family friend, um, so that, that was sort of pushed on me, which, which I mean, fantastic realtor. I, th I think it would, it would, I would definitely have to have a good gut feeling as well, you know. Uh, sometimes it's awkward trying to get out of if you know somebody or somebody knows somebody or whatever. Um, but yeah, I think definitely it should be, or it, I, I think definitely it still is a gut feeling. It was just a pleasant experience from the beginning, just very personable person. Okay. Um, and, and patient and understanding of our needs. We almost went with someone else who had less experience. Okay. Um, but it, it wasn't as transactional, I guess, the person we selected with, and you can tell that comes with experience. Uh, we interviewed two realtors. One was a referral, and one was someone we didn't know, but was advertising in our neighborhood on a regular basis. Okay. And we ultimately chose the person who was advertising in our neighborhood, like with like postcards and uh, market statistics, uh, because also they lived in our neighborhood. Okay. So we felt that they could sell our neighborhood, especially in a buyer's market like Edmonton was at the time. See, that's kind of a trick question. Okay. I was going to go with the realtor who sold a bunch of houses in our area. She actually didn't call me back. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah true. Um, and uh, so I ended up going to a few open houses on my own. Uh, and met some realtors, and I ended up going with a realtor who we clicked with. I don't. Um, the, well, I, I liked ours. He was, he was younger, so he had a lot of energy. Um, so that, that was actually great, because this is a market where you need to have a lot of energy, in my opinion, uh, for buying and for selling. You need to be on top of things, and if you can be in the know and have things uh, information ahead of time, that was great for me. Um, I don't think experience so much plays uh, a role in this particular market because it's, we've not seen it before. So I think you're in a, a good position. No, it's very dependent on the person. Um, okay. it, it, it's a feel and it's a value that that person brings forward. So uh, that wouldn't matter to me at all. I was just going to say, like, it, no, it didn't matter as well. Like, our, our selling realtor was younger, and the buying agent was older, and it didn't matter to me and my wife. Yeah, I did, like, the Google search, but um, we, I, we ended up finding our realtor through the junk mail pile. <laughs> In the junk how, mail pile? Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, not junk mail, but, like, you know, flyers <laughs> that come to my house that I, <laughs> that I kind of, like, put aside until I really need to look for it. But I did, that's how I found the realtor that we went with. Did they have the best flyer or I'm just curious now? Um, yeah, it was the best one. It, was the, it wasn't just a piece of paper, it was like laminated and I like, no, those. so it looked, it looked nice, it looked good. So we called her up and. Cool. I, I, I feel like everybody knows quite a few uh, that you don't really have to go out and search. Maybe, maybe not everybody, but um, I, wouldn't, I don't think I would have to use social media or any of that. 
I, I don't think that it's uh, I don't think it's worth the time. People think that it's such a hot market. Anybody can sell a house, mm -hmm. um, and and I understand why they would say that. But there are things that um, that realtors have that that you don't have access to. Okay. Um, you know, ML or Realtor.ca and and uh, information that that you just don't have, um, and unless you have all kinds of time, and they and there's experience, and you you pay for that, right? Um, awesome. Um, the same here. I, I think that uh, realtors they have a lot more access to different venues than what we that that I have. So I. I'd prefer to use a realtor. Okay, thank you. Um, I think I do a lot of research on it first because because it's not in my mindset on selling something at this point. I would certainly go out and say, what's the pros, what's the benefits? I do believe paying for service, uh, and it has to be something that I'm, it's worthwhile paying for. I would definitely use a realtor because I would think that the process um, would be too much and too confusing. Like there's a lot that goes into it and. That's what the realtor does. He cuts all that little like loopholes and everything. He just gives it to us like, fa like face value. What, what, what we need to do. Unless there was like a crazy buying opportunity or you know, just a little bit of care. You know, I know some realtors send things out or whatever. Just a little bit of care goes a long way, I think, in my opinion. Okay, perfect. If something came back up on the same sort of uh, uh, specs that I had had from before. Uh, just kind of to keep that up. Or I was thinking if I was potentially interested saying, hey, here's something that's just sold in your area that's similar to you. Not sure if you're thinking about selling, but hey, here's the, here's the number that But at least it's giving you some value. Gotcha. Gratitude. Pardon me? Gratitude. Gratitude? Yeah. From the realtor? Yeah. Okay. Like what? Thank you? Yeah, just the thank you. Just a warm-hearted thank you card. Christmas. That type okay. of thing. Maybe update on recent sales since okay. we've purchased. Very good. He did send me an email a couple of weeks ago because uh, my house was up for sale on a different street, and so he wanted me to know that, Just to let you know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, um, how much it was. Is that good enough for you? Or? That was awesome, actually. Cool. Um, he, I get uh, stuff from him and his broker uh, every month, which I don't read. Like, okay. ever. Gotcha. <laughs> and I also don't look at the flyers, and I feel bad because you guys spend so much money on that. Things. Don't look at the flyers. Tested. Okay. I think it's a great idea, to be honest with you. I mean, most first-time home buyers don't know any of that stuff. Or they might feel lost, and I think it's definitely a great idea. I think it would be good from your perspective if you knew who you were sending to. So um, this is not my first home. Um, the information is not, is not of interest to me. For me, it would be interested, but more in the format like, what are the top five uh, mistakes homeowners make uh, to begin winter or something like that? Something where I can feel that, I, yeah, it's the top five. I feel that I could read five things, but not a whole uh, two-page blog on something else. Uh, just not going to read that. Yeah, I would, I would take a look at that maybe like in an email or something, like the top you know, five things that homeowners make mistakes in or, you know, um, what to do, what not to do, what to keep an eye out, you know, that type of thing, like on a, just a simple one pager. He was really energetic and a go-getter, actually okay. knocked on doors. Um, she provided a lot of information on like upcoming listings and okay. we were very appreciative of that because we, we love information and she gave a lot of it. Uh, knowledge of the area okay. and, and what's going on um, on here's what things have been going for. I was looking at percentages, like so this is the listing, here's what's gone on above it, below it, Gotcha. Et so you're numbers guy then? Yeah. He was honest, he was straightforward. Okay. Um, um, she, was, she was friendly and she kept, you know, she was really quick at returning text to any questions that we had. So I like that because I like, I hate waiting on text. I've had, you know, so she was like an instant text. If I needed if I had questions, I text her, and she would text me right back. Okay. I think I like the fact that she was uh, uh, very organized and reliable, very reliable. Uh, always kept me on top of uh, what was going on. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, again, coming back to a numbers thing, when the first one they showed me with a rental property, 
uh, I was like, well, that doesn't cash flow. Oh. I was like, wait a second. So I'm, this is going to be this. This is going to be the cost. This is going to be there. Here's the rental market that I know that's in there. So now I'm going to be paying extra for somebody staying in my unit. Don't show me one like that again. Gotcha. Thing, so. so they had to test you to make sure you really knew what you were talking about, <laughs> well, yeah. basically. What I didn't like was, um, I guess she could have sent me more of listings. She didn't do as much. We had to go out and, like I said, drive around and have a look in the area. And then I would text and say, hey, what about this property? Can you send us information on this property? She would do it right away. But, you know, more broad of what she sent was more broad, but more like was wider than what we wanted to look at. Yes, I would. He was great. Yeah. Have you? Yes, okay. actually. So there are some Facebook chat groups, and I have referred on there. I would refer the agent to use, definitely. Have you had a chance to? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, perfect. Yes, and I have referred. Okay, awesome. Yes, and the other thing is, is I work in a thing where I can actually put up their information um, so that they're allowed to actually advertise in my at your bank right yeah so. gotcha um i would but i haven't had a chance to the only reason i would is because um well, after we bought the house she had uh, sent us a gift card and she said if i refer i get another gift card oh okay just based on that gift card i mean i i would definitely refer her but um i wouldn't refer to somebody that was buying in like a 100k away or something like that i mean maybe a neighboring city or that city mm -hmm. Uh, to me, it, it's the being prepared and walking through the uh, process ahead of time. So it's, here's what you're going to expect. Here's what's going to come next. Here's what's going to happen if somebody does this. Instead of, now this has occurred, now here's what's going to happen. Go through the entire process for me. Uh, that's something that, that I like to have a lot of information ahead of time. So some people may not, but I'm in, in okay. So walk me through from start to finish. What's going to happen, what I'm looking for. We acted like a partner with our realtor, which is how we actually looked at it ourselves, because it's money in, in, it was money in his pocket, it was money in our pocket. We together wanted to sell and buy a house. Um, he, he would give us, he, he didn't want to just sell us a house, like he would tell us, well, you know, this is the square footage and this is probably what you're going to see in terms of return on investment in this area for this square footage. You know, he didn't just say, do you like it? Sign. You know, so it, it was great. He, he cleaned my glass shower when you know when, when we were having our our first uh, you know walk through because we were out of time. I just think the transaction in general, how how great they are, how honest they are, how reliable they are. If it's a horrible experience, you won't remember them. I mean, you may, but uh, and then I think keeping in touch as well makes them stay memorable. You know, because let's face it, everybody knows 10, 20, 30, 100 realtors. I don't know, depending on how old you are. I know, I mean, I don't know, right? Yeah, every second person I know seems to be a realtor. I don't know. I guess that's, that's kind of it, right? How, how great they are with you. 